Joining me in this Tell Me More About is Carlo Monaco from Italy. Carlo, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Let's uh, develop a conversation on the topic of the key factors of prost in prosthetic management. You are an expert in that. And um, to start off with the basics, when we talk about prosthetic management, where in the field of implantology are we talking about? Okay, the first thing that I have to, to, to talk with you is related to the shape of the implant and the shape of the neck of the implant, because it's, it's very important key factor related to the shape of the crown. And uh, if you choose bone level implant, you have some type of the abutment. If you choose a tissue level implant, you have a different type of the abutment. Or if you choose a narrow implant or big implant, you have a different uh, shape of the abutment. This is first the first uh, question, the, the first point during exactly. the, the planning a new clinical case. Exactly, it makes sense. The type of implant, the type of abutment is a big factor in the type of prosthetics yeah, that you can and should use and how you design them. Exactly, is the first, the first factor that we have to choose when we plan a new clinical case. It's, exactly. It's, on, it's not only the, the, the only factor, but it's the first factor. Exactly. And the prosthetic management, in the end, what is its aim? Is it purely the looks? Is it the aesthetics to be perfect or are there other factors? No, 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 no. The aesthetic management have two main reasons. One reason is a biological reason because the dimension of the abutment uh, or the dimension of the neck can influence in positive or negative way the, the healing of a soft tissue or the, the maintainment of the, the quality of soft tissue. And of course, have the big importance on the, the aesthetic factor because if we have a narrow teeth or narrow tooth, we need to, to choose a narrow implant or narrow abutment. If we have a big tooth, we, we can choose a different type of uh, abutment. Exactly. But it's interesting you say it's more than just the aesthetic. It's also a biological influence. How does that work? Tell me more about. Yeah, it's biological because if you choose an um, abutment with big di uh, diameter, with big dimension, the abutment can press on the soft tissue and change the level of soft tissue and the quality of the status can decrease. In the other end, the abutment can press directly on the bone and, and, and it's a very bad situation because the bone can be uh, a, a a different type of uh, resorption. Exactly. Right. So a different type of resorption. Yeah. We are already dealing with resorption, but now a wrong abutment design can even make it worse. Yeah, exactly. This is the reason why we have to choose, first of all, the, the one type of the, 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 the implant, the correct type of the abutment, and if it is not present in, uh, in a traditional, uh, in, in, in the brain, in traditional uh, situation, we need to customize the abutment for that clinical case for that patient. So if you listen carefully, the biggest risk initially is a too large abutment. Yeah. And that's just because there is no smaller piece in the market and then you may need to produce. Exactly. A customize related to the dimension, related to the height of the neck of the abutment uh, and to move more coronal. The, the, the connection between the abutment, the titanium abutment with the zirconia restoration. And we can design related to the presence of the bone peak around the implant. If, bone, we, if we have a, 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 a very skeletal shape of the bone implant, we can design and customize the abutment um, following the shape of the bone peak. Just for my understanding, how difficult is it to get your hands on a customized abutment? I can imagine it's quite rare. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult, but uh, now with the, the 3D digital s uh, system, we can see the CBCT before, we can combine or super superimpose the, the soft tissue and all together in one, uh, in, in one model, in one STL model, and dental technician check can check the peak of bone, the level of the soft tissue, and in this, in, uh, this way it's easier to design the abutment. And then the 3D printing or the CAD-CAM system can create the customized abutment for the patient. 
But especially if we talk about soft tissue, how, how predictable is this superimposement of the soft tissue? Because I can imagine the predictability of the healing and of the, the level of soft tissue is not as predictable as bone. Yeah, exactly. But we take the impression after three or four months after the surgery, in this way, the, the, the soft tissue are stable. Ah, yeah. and we can take the impression directly. Exactly. So choosing, designing the proper abutment is a key factor. Yeah. What other key factors in prosthetic management are important? Yeah, the, the other key factors are the shape of the crown because we can move to apical to coronal, mm -hmm. okay? And then in the same way, we can design a different shape of the crown, not only in the vestibular uh, uh, area, but in the mesial and distal area. In that way, we can leave the space for the, for the growth of the papilla, and then we can create an aesthetic uh, natural restoration, like a natural tooth. And what, what is the latest insight in designing this crown? Should we go more narrow than we used yeah, to? We can, or, or we what can, is the development? We, yeah, we can, uh, we can design like uh, not uh, with, with a concave or change the shape inside of the crown, near the papilla. And this is the reason why we can, with the provisional restoration, I can modify the, the inner part of the, of the transmucosa tunnel of the provisional restoration wait two or uh, three months at least to create the healing of the soft tissue and then with the, the digital system i can take the impression directly of the shape of soft tissue and i remove the restoration the provisional restoration and take directly the impression of the provisional restoration out of the mouth of the patient in uh, this way the dental technician can combine all information information direct the soft tissue information of the provisional restoration out of mouth and then can create the final zirconia restoration. And that means he's, he's doing that much later perhaps than we were used to? So he's doing that based on the healed side with the provisional in place and then starts to model his restoration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the provisional restoration is uh, in very important in the, first, in, the, in the first one or two months only to, 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 to increase the healing of soft tissue, but then we prefer use a final restoration, using the final restoration as a provisional restoration, in um, where we bond the zirconia restoration with the provisional cement to the final abutment mm. and check the, the, the space of the papilla, check the, 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 the effect, the aesthetic effect of the final restoration. This, this is the reason why in the past, we use more provisional restoration, but the quality of provisional restoration, provisional restoration is a resin, is a PMMA resin. Mm -hmm. It's not so excellent for the biological uh, combination yeah. with, the, with healing of the soft tissue. Exactly. So that's a, a novelty. That's an innovation. Yeah, it's an innovation because we can, we can create uh, with the digital um, design and CAD CAD system the final restoration and dental technician, if the final restoration is like monolithic restoration, it's easy for, for the, the dental technician reproduce the same shape, the same, um, the same restoration one, two or three months later. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So what are some of the common misunderstandings you encounter when you are lecturing on this topic of prosthetic management? What do colleagues need to learn and hear once you're sitting here? Yeah, I think that the, the colleagues need to learn the, the key factor that are choose the correct shape of the implant, a correct shape of neck, choose the, the correct uh, shape of the abutment and use provisional restoration for two, three months. And as soon as possible, you have to finalize the case with zirconia restoration for biological and aesthetical reasons. Oh, you make it sound very simple. Why is not everybody doing it like that yet? Yeah, it's simple now today because the 3D system, the digital uh, um, machine can help us a, a, a lot of, um, and reduce a lot of time. This is the reason why now the implantologists cannot work without uh, uh, the new digital uh, approach. Exactly. So you're still, those who don't do it like this yet, they are still 
moving and transitioning into the digital workflow. Yeah, absolutely. All is digital workflow now. And then once you're there, it's quite simple to actually change the protocol and follow like this. Exactly. Well, I think it's super clear. Anything else you'd like to share with those dealing with questions and misunderstandings on prosthetic management? No, nothing. This, All, is, uh, this is the message that I would like to leave the, to the colleagues. Very clear. Thank you very much, Carlo Monaco. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.